Hi learners, in our previous video lesson, we learned about speed and velocity. If you haven't watched it yet, you can pause this video and watch that one first to better understand our new topic today. So if you are ready, let's get started. Today, we will learn about the acceleration. If you are confused what acceleration is, just think of a bike. A bike has three main parts. It has pedal to help you accelerate, brake to stop the bike, and handlebar grip to change the direction. Well, if you have experience riding a bike, you probably know that a bike accelerates. But what is the word acceleration? In physics, Acceleration is defined as a rate of change in velocity of a moving object per unit of time. Here are another examples showing acceleration. There are three factors or ways to change the acceleration. First, by increasing its speed while traveling in a straight line. For example, this bike accelerates because it suddenly increases its speed. Second, by decreasing its speed while traveling in a straight line. For example, this bike accelerates because it suddenly slows down while traveling. This acceleration is called deceleration. And third, by changing its direction while traveling at a constant speed. For example, this bike is traveling in a straight line at first, but change its direction in a constant speed. Take note that the faster the change in velocity, the greater the acceleration would be. And an increasing velocity is positive acceleration, and a decrease in velocity is called deceleration. We can solve for the average acceleration by using this formula. Change in velocity over elapsed time. This is how you write the formula. A is equal to change in velocity. The triangle here means change in velocity and then divide it to the time. So how can we find a change in velocity? We simply find the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. Or let's write it by this formula. So A is equal to V sub F minus V sub I over the time. So where the VF is the final velocity and VI is the initial velocity. So commonly, V sub I or the initial velocity is always zero, but not all the time. There is some point that it has a value, so you have to be mindful of the sample problem. So try to look at the example. The car is traveling in a straight line while increasing its velocity. You will see here that it has also gained acceleration, but when the car comes to stop, its velocity then becomes zero, and the acceleration becomes negative. Alright, let's try this sample problem. As a bike comes to a stop, it slows from 25 meter per second squared in 2.8 seconds. What is the acceleration of the bike? So what is being asked or we need to find in this sample problem? That's correct, the acceleration. So based on the problem, the given R, initial velocity which is 25 meter per second squared, the final velocity which is zero, and that's when the car stopped. And finally, we have the time which is 2.8 seconds. Next, we write the unknown. The unknown here is the acceleration, the one that we need to find. And now, let's write the formula that we are going to use. So, A is equal to VF minus VI divided by the time or acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time. So, for the solution, we simply change with the value. So, A is equal to 
0 minus 25 meter per second divided by 2.8 seconds. So 0 minus 25 meter per second is negative 25 meter per second. Now, negative 25 meter per second divided by 2.8 seconds, the answer is negative 8.91 meter per second squared. So the negative also indicate that the car decreased its velocity. This means that the sample problem showing negative acceleration or what we called deceleration. We get the unit of acceleration from the unit of change in velocity, which is meter per second, and the time, which is second. So that gives us meter per second squared. Here's another sample problem. A car travels at 90.0 km per hour. Find the acceleration of the car in 3 hours if it starts from a trest. So in this problem, take note of the word from a trest. That means the car is initially at rest before it travels 90 km per hour. So what are we going to find? Alright, the acceleration. Now let's identify the given in the sample problem. So just like in our previous video lesson, we learned that in physics, we solve a problem this way. So first, identify what are the given, the unknown or need to find, formula, the solution, and the final answer. So here, the given are the final velocity, which is 90.0 km per hour, the initial velocity, which is zero since it starts from a trest, then the time, which is three hours. Then write the unknown, which is the acceleration. Then the formula, which is acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time. So for the solution, we simply change it with the correct value. So 90 km per hour minus zero. So the answer is, is 90 km per hour. The 90 km per hour divided by the 3 hours. So the answer for acceleration is 30 km per hour squared. Now what if there will be sample problem that is asking for time and final velocity in the concept of acceleration? So that's where derivation of formula comes in just like what we did in our previous video lesson in speed and velocity so to get the formula of time and velocity or the final velocity write the first the formula of acceleration so this is how you're going to derive to get the formula of final velocity so multiply both side by time then cancel the common unit or the cancel the time so it become acceleration times time is equals to vf minus vi then let's add initial velocity in both sides then it became vi plus at is equal to vf or you can write it in this way so vf is equals to vi plus acceleration times time what about the time now let's continue Let's divide both side by acceleration, then cancel again both acceleration, then transpose initial velocity and final velocity that results to a negative sign, then over acceleration. So the formula of time will be time is equal to Vf minus Vi divided by acceleration. So here are the formula for acceleration, final velocity, and time. Now, are you ready for another sample problem? Okay. How long will it take a taxi driver to bring a car traveling a 50 meter per second to a complete stop if its acceleration is 0 0.500 meter per second squared? So the given here are initial velocity that is 50 meter per second take note of the word traveling that means that is the initial velocity well the final velocity is zero 
Again, take note of the word to a complete stop. That means after traveling, it will stop. So it will be a zero. So acceleration is equals to 0 0.500 meter per second squared. The unknown here is time. The formula we are going to use is time is equals to V sub F minus V sub I over acceleration. So for the solution, just change it with the value. So final velocity is 0 minus final velocity that is 50 meter per second. Then over acceleration, which is 0 0.500 seconds. So 0 minus 50 meter per second is equals to negative 50 meter per second. Now let's uh, cancel the common unit. Since acceleration is meter per second squared, and this squared means 2 seconds, that only means that the only unit left now is second. So it gives us negative 50 divided by 0 0.500 seconds. The answer for the time is 500 seconds. Alright, so that's all for today. Next time, the video lesson that we will be talking about is about the acceleration of free fall. So see you in our next video lesson. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Bye everyone and have a great day.